There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Obesity and hypertension are interlinked. Obese patients are at higher risk of getting hypertension than normal weight individuals. Hypertension refers to an abnormally high blood pressure. It is a silent disease with no early symptoms. It affects an individual's lifestyle and increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and death. A normal blood pressure is 120 over 80 but a high blood pressure is more than 140 over 90. Men are more prone to hypertension than women at a younger age. There are a number of risk factors that increase the chance of having hypertension. Let us look at the important factors. People aged over 60 have a high chance of getting hypertension. With age, blood pressure increases steadily. Some existing diseases such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, high cholesterol levels, Increase the chances of having hypertension. Being overweight or obese is the key factor behind hypertension. Other factors include an active lifestyle, a salt-rich and fatty diet, alcohol and tobacco consumption, a family history of high blood pressure and excessive stress. Hypertension is closely related to excess body weight and weight reduction happens automatically after a fall in blood pressure. A healthy balanced diet is common in treating both obesity and hypertension, as discussed above. If we combine both the factors together, it can be concluded that higher weight is associated with high blood pressure levels. On the other hand, a loss of weight is associated with a decrease in blood pressure. The common factor that helps in both managing weight and henceforth blood pressure levels are important. A change in the lifestyle and diet is mandatory. Regular exercise and 30 minutes of brisk walking should be included in every day's lifestyle. Cut into fatty and junk food and include more fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy products to start a balanced diet. Avoid excessive intake of tobacco and alcohol. If all the above fails, a weight loss surgery is recommended by the doctors. Weight loss is the most important step in reducing hypertension. Sources, obesity and hypertension. What is the connection? The same lifestyle choices that causes obesity can also cause hypertension. Not exercising, not eating healthy, etc. The process by which someone becomes obese typically involves excess caloric intake. Excess intake of fats, unhealthy carbohydrates can translate into increased plaque formation in your arteries. If your arteries are narrowing over time because of this, that can be a factor that elevates blood pressure. Also fat cells are not just little cells full of fat. They are inflammatory cells. They contain active enzymes and hormones. One of them likes to balance out estrogens and androgens. The way I like to explain it is we all have estrogens and androgens. In females there is more estrogens naturally and in males there are more androgens. When there is an excess of fat cells, they like to balance them out unnaturally. This is why obese men can develop breasts, and obese women can develop excess facial hair on their chin or above their lip. 